There are three motivational strategies that can be used to aid in the West Coast Transit team's success. These process theories identified various internal factors that influence motivation. First is the Adams Equity Theory, which explains how people strive for fairness and justice in social exchanges. On the job, feelings of inequity revolve around employees' evaluation of whether or not they receive adequate rewards to compensate for their contributions to the organization. Second is Broom's Expectancy Theory which assumes that employees only put forth the level of effort needed to complete a goal, the outcomes of meeting that goal, and the value of that outcome. Lastly, is the goal-setting theory, which explains how the simple behavior of setting goals activates a powerful motivation process that leads to sustained, high performance. Of the three motivational theories, the goal-setting theory is the most appropriate theory for the West Coast Transit team. There are four motivational mechanisms of goal setting. Goals direct attention, regulate efforts, increase persistence, and encourage action. The individuals selected for this team were not motivated by physiological needs such as pay and or bonuses. The team is comprised of individuals motivated by opportunity for growth, the ability to accomplish difficult tasks, and the opportunity to perform work with value that makes a difference. Due to the strict timeline of this project, the four goal-setting mechanisms are critical. First, the team must direct their attention by prioritizing and allocating activities effectively. Second, due to the time sensitivity of this project, the team must regulate their efforts by setting deadlines and assisting one another with adhering to said deadlines. Next, persistence can be increased by consistent communication and feedback among the team members. If any member or the team as a whole needs goals redirected, this must be communicated swiftly and order adhere to the project deadline. Lastly, the team members must encourage action with development of crucial strategies and action plans to successfully complete this project. Out West Coast Transit has an integrated organizational structure. With that being said, due to the nature of this project, it would be most effective for this team to have shared leadership. Research suggests that self-managed teams are more productive and maintain higher morale when dealing with complex tasks such as developing an effective marketing strategy. While the team still has a formal leader, the leadership functions can shift depending on the circumstances, the needs of the team, and each team member's skill set. The formal leader models the appropriate behavior and establishes positive norms. Shared leadership is extremely effective in building cohesiveness among team members. In order for this team of shared leaders to be effective, the philosophy must have servant leadership. Each team member will act as servants and lead by the servant leadership characteristics. Listening, empathy, healing, awareness, persuasion, conceptualization, foresight, stewardship, growing people, and building community.